Yo, what's good y'all, so trolling? It's been a couple days ever since we did that water test and water freeze test with this Galaxy Z Fold 2 right here. And by the way, this tweet is like blowing up of free tweets and everything, so I really appreciate y'all because this is uh, <laughs> this is kind of expensive. But let's go and find out if this Galaxy Z Fold 2 made it through the water test and water freeze test or not. All right, so this video is going to be pretty quick, but I just want to go and show you this real quick. So I'm looking at my tweet here. If you didn't watch the video already, go ahead and watch it. I just posted it today. As you can see here, it already got 100 views. So really, again, appreciate y'all. Like, this is insane. But this is like watching a part two to the movie if you haven't even watched the part one yet. So go ahead and watch that video first and then get to this video. But I didn't put this phone in any rice or anything because I didn't have any rice and I really honestly never just got to the store. So it just made kind of sitting in towels and stuff like that. So I heard rice haven't really made a big difference in the first place. I looked it up online and there's some stats that rice really doesn't help dry a phone now It's just I don't know It's just kind of there to be there and this whole myth got too far or something like that But let's go and try this out So I got my Samsung wireless charger portable battery here and we're gonna go ahead and try wireless charging it and charging it by the wire So if you watch that video only after the water freeze test did the phone die So here we are we're gonna go and test this out and first off I want to go and look around the phone real quick just to check the cameras and stuff So initially when I checked the cameras you couldn't see any condensation in there But now if you look inside these cameras here on the front one anyways you can see that there is condensation in that camera so that's pretty concerning looking at these cameras right here you can see a tiny bit of condensation on this top camera but nothing really on these other two cameras and then if we look inside here yeah i don't really see any condensation at all so i think we're good on there so before we go ahead and plug this in we're gonna just go ahead and try to turn this on without power so let's go and do that right now in three two one and i don't think it's gonna turn on let's see here no, it's not turning on, so I think it might be dead. Now let's go and try with the charger here. So let's go and do that in three, two, one. There we go. And let's see, does this thing turn on? And the, wait, the portable charger is on, right? So yes, I think it is on. No, it's dead. Wow. Okay, let me get another one and I'll be right back. All right, so I got a portable charger with some actual charging here. So don't make fun of me in the comments, okay? Now let's go and try plugging this in in three, two, one. And let's see, does this thing turn on or not? And looking like so far nothing so this phone whoa well, hold on a second this phone turning on wow i was not expecting that at all so let's see if the battery percentage actually shows up on here now because man that is insane so as you can see here the screen is actually turning on so it didn't get damaged from that ice there which is really impressive so let's go and check that cover display here and as you can see uh it's not turning on yet i think it's only the inner display for now i'll get that a couple minutes and i'll get back to y'all all right, so it's pretty late on the timer, but it took about a minute to finally charge on here. And as you can see, we have 1%. So the battery did deplete on here, which is interesting. So now let's go and try turning this thing on. Okay, this is going to be the most interesting part to see if everything still works on here. And as you can see, wait for it, the vibration still works and the cover display still works. Man, Samsung, you are a beast. So I thought for sure that this $2,000 phone was a goner, but as you can see here, it definitely survived. So let me go ahead and try using this touchscreen here. And yeah, that still works too wow this is okay i'm blown away right now samsung you are a beast i really did not expect this at all you can see condensation even inside the camera and oh now you can anyways you couldn't see it before but you definitely can now but let's go and try folding this thing here and let's go and try using the cover display and as you can see there that still works too so now let me go ahead and try doing some testing here and i'll get back to y'all All right, y'all, so it looks like it passed all the tests on here. So honestly, I'm really impressed. There was only one issue, and that's with this speaker down here. So let me go and show you what speaker one sounds like. Yeah, you can barely hear that, right? Now let me go and show you what speaker two sounds like. Listen to that. Oh yeah, definitely. There's no issues with this one, but there is one with down here. All right, so the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Oh wow, look at that camera there. That's really starting to fog up. Let's go and check these other cameras here too. And yeah, you could definitely see it there. And even on this cover display camera, yeah, they're all starting to fog up right now. Maybe it's because of the heat. It's just normal heat. It's not really hot or anything, but okay then. Yeah, that's a little scary. So if I do pull up the camera here, as you can see, it looks perfectly fine except for a little bit of fog in here. But I think when that clears up, it'll look perfectly fine. And if I go and flip this around here, oh yeah that looks terrible right now but now let's go and try using flex mode and as you can see man that still works too oh wow samsung round of applause 
that that's insane. I can't believe this right now. All right, so that's where it looks like it ends. So the Galaxy Z Fold 2 officially passed my water test and water freeze test for 24 hours. So all I need to do is just let it dry out and it was good. Now I will still let this dry for a little bit longer, but I think after that, I think this is gonna be just fine. The only issue I found was with that bottom speaker there, but besides that, it seems cool. Now let me go and try the microphone. So this is a sound test on the Galaxy Z Fold 2. As you can see here, I'm recording on it right now. And let me know how does that sound in the comments below. So let me get out of here, y'all. Hopefully, I enjoyed this, and hopefully, you enjoyed this video. So I definitely did myself. I gotta say, like, this is amazing. Samsung, you did a great job with this. Now, obviously, this doesn't mean that you can go dunk in your Galaxy Z Fold 2 in some water and then just dry it out and expect it to be all good. Like, just don't do that, okay? Treat it like it's a $2,000 phone. This is a $2,000 phone, so treat it like it's a $2,000 phone. But anyways, let me get out of here, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I enjoyed this. If you liked this video, go and get this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. Go and follow me on my social media at on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, but Instagram and Twitter is the most active. But it's really nice seeing that this Galaxy Z Fold 2 works again. Like, honestly, this is beyond impressive for me. But let me hop up out of here, y'all. So did you expect this thing to work at all? Let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And <laughs> peace out. All right, so quick update here. Interestingly enough, it only took a couple hours for that speaker to improve a lot. So listen to this. That already sounds way better than when we first started this video. So that's way louder right now. It's still a little muffled. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. So with how much this phone's been through, and especially with how much that speaker improved, this water test right here for the Galaxy Z Fold 2 easily gets my Jennings step of approval. The Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, NFC, all that stuff, there's no issues with that. There's only just that little bit of an issue there with that bottom speaker. So I'm hoping that improves by the end of the day, but let me get out of here, y'all. Peace out.